Hello, judges. I am Karen Malloy, the Science Department Chairperson for Chantilly High School and the Science Fair Directed. I'm excited that you've elected to join us to judge the Science Fair and help select projects that will be awarded prizes here, as well as to determine which projects will move to the next level to the Fairfax County Regional Science and Engineering Fair, which is the next level of the Intel competition. As a judge, it's your job to evaluate projects and to give us your opinion on what students would know and be able to do. The role of the judge is somewhat of a fun position, actually, <laughs> compared to the teacher job. The teacher is given grades on all of the steps and compared to this to an objective standard so that a student is evaluated based on the work that they produce. Judges, however, evaluate the final project compared to other students in that category of projects that you see. This is a very subjective standard. We understand this and we ask that you understand that as well, that you know it's a judgment that you're making on these projects. While we don't limit the number of first, second, and third place awards, we do hope that you'll truly consider each project in terms of the excellence that it would show and whether or not it should be worthy of a prize. Not all projects, I think you would agree, are worthy of prizes. And it's not our worry that every student gets an award. So in looking at this, the role of the judge takes on a new thing. On the day of the fair, you're going to arrive by 4 p.m. at the lecture hall to check in. You'll check in by alphabetical order. The folder will look very much like it has in the past. There'll be a head judges folder in purple, and there'll be folders for every judge that are in Manila. This year, we've gone to a spreadsheet, a spreadsheet format in order to go more green. This judging rubric will look like this. You'll see all of your projects represented across the top as well as the names of students, the project titles. Keep in mind, sometimes their project titles change. The room and then the grade level of the student. You also see the seven aspects, problem perspective, experimental design, data collection, data analysis, discussion and results, prepared presentation and impromptu presentation that are the evaluation tools for each part of the project. Those will all be weighted equally. What's different about this is that there's no place to put comments for students. So we appreciate you thinking about those comments. However, this sheet will never ever be seen by students. It's an in-house document only. And so with that consideration, we've tried to eliminate the amount of paperwork that we provide to you. You will notice a difference in the spreadsheet format in that, that there are only five grading criteria levels. That represents a shift in our component thought. Two in this case will be the norm. In fact, we would say about 75% of projects at Chantilly High School would be awarded a two. A two is not to be thought of in terms of a grade, right? Two divided by five is 40%. We can all do that math. However, it's not 40% in the view of failing. This is a different kind of grading scale. It's a quality point system where a five represents the best of the best and a two is the work of what we would expect from most of our students. Remember, they've already gotten a grade on this work so you're trying to evaluate and it, determine who are the best of the best. So our awards will reward the best projects of Chantilly High School. These are ones that represent us in future studies and competitions. They show the ideas, efforts, analysis, and conclusions beyond that of their peers in the subjective realm. In deciding awards, if you have used our judging criteria, then we would say that projects who are earning mostly fives would earn first places, projects earning mostly fours earn second places, projects earning mostly threes earn third places. So with that, let's take a look at the new revised rubric. The judging rubric looks like this. Up at the top, you can see the five levels described. A five is the best of the best. So if the problem that the student has looked at is original above reproach, novel with a practical application, and truly further scientific research, that project deserves a five. If that project is something that you could find on the internet, you could find in a regular class, is just a small tweak of another project that perhaps you've seen before, that project is what we would look at really as a two or perhaps a one.
So remember, in looking at this, you arrange for projects that deserve awards that have the best problem perspectives would be fives, would be considered a first place. This is really awesome, beyond reproach. Four shows clarity of thought, superb execution, goes above and beyond in many categories. And then the three shows you consistently strong thought and execution. This is above average is deserving of an award however remember that the average is set a little bit higher than we would otherwise you also then can examine experimental design what was the hypothesis that was considered the variables how they were measured data collection the number of trials when that was done how much time students allowed for analysis methods of collection data analysis discussion of results, their prepared presentation, and their impromptu presentation. So in looking at those ideas, you would have these numbers filled out on the spreadsheet provided to you for all the projects. We think this might be an easier way for you to consider those first place projects. Students earning first place projects would have fives mostly down this column, perhaps a four or two. However, for the most part, everything about their project is top notch, exceptional work goes above and beyond. If it's a team project, for example, that team really works collaboratively. They don't interrupt each other, they allow each other the time to discuss those ideas. Second place projects, we would expect to earn mostly fours. So this is exceptional work. It's probably lacking something in terms of that five, play, that first place project. These projects show great clarity of thought. They definitely should represent some sort of award. However, they fall short perhaps in a couple of categories. Looking down the column, if you see all threes that are circled, maybe a couple twos, maybe a couple fours, but mostly it would average out to a three. Then you would suggest that that project would be a third place award. Projects earning twos and ones, that's the norm, remember, that's the standard, that's where we would expect most to be, that those projects would not be earning awards. So again, we ask you to consider projects that would be earning mostly fives to be first place, mostly fours, second place, and mostly threes, third place. With that, we would look at the regional fair nominations from what you would consider for us. These projects are considered sobre saliente. This is untouchable. These are the absolute best of the Chantilly Fair. They'll represent us at, with all the other 24 high schools in Fairfax County Public Schools at the county competition in March. These projects you have given us great past precedent on. Our projects usually uh, have the highest winning percentage, or they have in the past few years, at the, Sh at the Fairfax Regional Fair, excuse me, because we believe that you have vetted them so very well for us to help find the best of the best. We appreciate your thinking on this and positing this and really kind of coming back to volunteer for us in this capacity. We're going to see you on Wednesday. You're going to look for my email that has more information that the specifics of how the agenda will run. There's also information on the Fairfax, uh, the Chantilly High School homepage for you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly contact me at kcmalloy at fcps.edu or you can talk to me, get here a little bit early on the night of the fair, and uh, we can certainly chat. We hope this has been informative for you, and we'll see you on Wednesday.